and demonstrate how to turn the machine on in the morning. So take your emergency, make sure all your emergency stops are off or like released and then turn the main power switch on and then your power is going to come on to the machine and you're going to check to make sure you've got your voltage registering and you'll see a light on the speedometer and then before any of the wheels will start up the pump has to be on so you turn your pump on first and then you start up your other wheels you want to check the water flow? oh well yeah you can check your water flow but yeah. uh, we're going to make a mess um, we've already checked that but there's covers under oh, coming up the back under here those are the wheel covers where you can check your your water flow it actually got water flowing into the tank and that's what Rob was referring to make sure you've got a good flow of water which we do there and there's a screen and then um, and then now what we're going to do is we're going to decide what thickness we're going to run first if we're going to run 3 8 we're already set up for it because it's uh, 3 8 is actually 10 millimeter but we're going to have 1 millimeter of pressure so it's set for 9 millimeter track opening and uh, then we're going to adjust the speed. So to adjust the speed, we have to turn the pump on and then we can turn the conveyor button on simply by depressing the conveyor button, making sure it's in forward, checking our speed. It takes a little while for it to ramp up to, uh, to give you the accurate reading. I'm going to run the 3 eighths at about one and a half meters per minute. So right now it's ramping up to about, I don't know, what do you have it running at? One point, 185. So we're going to turn it down. And to turn it down, yeah, it's getting closer to the 185. To turn it down, we're going to actually go to this hand wheel on the drive motor and turn it counterclockwise. Slow it down. Clockwise makes it faster. We'll do a few turns. Like give it a couple of good, yeah, keep going, Rob. A few more. And that's, that's pretty good right there. And that's a simple adjustment which will get it down closer to 1.5. You can see it's already getting very close to 1.5. You're going a little under, so now we're gonna bring it back up a bit and turn a couple of turns the other way. And let's see, now you're gonna have to go a little more. A couple more turns. Yeah, okay, it's coming back up, and that's close enough. All right, so that speed is a comfortable speed for running your 3 8 through. And then to turn the rest of the machine on, you're going to turn each motor on, starting with number one spindle, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The first two do your flat grinding. The next uh, the number three does your front arras, number four does your front arras polishing, number five does your rear arras, number six does your rear arras polishing, number seven does your flat polish, and number eight does another flat polish to get it shinier. That's basically it. Stop the machine. Well, you can load up the glass now. You can load up the glass if you want, but so load up the glass. Usually you run pieces one up, one down, run the glass in, but we're going to stop the machine now and show you how to shut the machine off. So to off stop it, you can do it one of two ways, the slow ways to just depress the conveyor button first, stop the conveyor, and then just shut everything else off with the, with the main power switch. That's the main power switch over there? Well, no, the uh, emergency stop. Um, and you can leave power to the machine so that you can come back to it later in the day to start, just to start it back up. Just make sure you pop that switch off. Uh, release the switch. Just twist it a bit. Rob, could you just twist it and show us how that's done? There. So now you're free to start your pump. If that's depressed in, you cannot start your pump. Try starting the pump. Won't start. Release it. Try starting the pump. It'll work. Change from quarter inch, which is set at five millimeter, to three eighths, which is set at nine millimeter. It's that simple. You just 
increase the thickness with a motorized switch. Hold it on the positive till it reaches nine. That's it, and now you can run your three eighths through after you just ran your quarter. And that's, that's the finish you're going to get on your 3.8. Say hi. We love the, the guy, machine. We love the machine. The guy's at Enterprise Glass. Josh can't wait to get his hands on it. <laughs>